Hi, my name is Seth and this video is a summary of my experience having done my first year at medical school. To start off the year, we moved into Scotia Key at the beginning of September and we got given this accommodation on the medicine scholarship. We also got quite lucky because our flat was a refurbished flat and it has a river view, except that my bedroom view was facing the car park. As I moved in, I was introduced to my flat and quite a lot of our course mates and we all went to Nando's together, which was pretty nice. And a week after we had our induction week and we also had freshers week after that as well. The first two weeks were pretty chill and it was more of an opportunity to get to know more people on the course as well. And in the induction week we were introduced to stuff such as PBL, anatomy, and we were given our resources such as our new lab courts, our textbooks and also our complete anatomy login. Our unit one PBL case again was a practice PBL case so we didn't have a wrap up session. It was more just to introduce ourselves to how to sort of formulate your ILOs which are the intended learning outcomes. After that unit we had units two and three which were the health and disease and immunology infection modules and these are the modules that we sat before our November formative exam which just means it, that exam didn't count towards our end of year written exam mark. It was more just for preparation for the actual exams. And we sat that exam in November and it consisted of 50 marks. After the November formative, we did unit four, which was emergencies, units two, three, and four, and also a bit of the scholarship unit made up our January exam. And this exam was out of 100 marks. And that was pretty much my first term at medical school. I pretty much enjoyed the first term, not only because it wasn't that difficult, and we had the opportunity to make a lot of friends as well, which was something that I was initially worried about having moved from one university where I got to know a lot of people to another university where I didn't really know anyone. But I guess that's the case for pretty much everyone else. For the second term, we had units five, six, seven, and we just started unit eight. Unit 5 was the life course and Unit 6 was brain and mind. For Unit 7 we did health and reproduction and Unit 8 was lifestyle. I found these units more difficult, not because they were actually like more difficult to understand, but more because I hadn't done previously during my biochemistry degree. And then we had our Easter holidays, where me and a couple of our friends went to outdoors. This is the kind of bus that would do an American Pie marathon until we get to outdoors. go skiing. It was my first time so I was a bit tragic but it was a good experience either way. Also in the second term we had our formative OSCE which was basically an OSCE that didn't count towards our end of year box but was more preparation for the summative OSCE later on in the year. After Easton and after completing the final two weeks of unit 8 we then went into preparing for exams which again were the final two of the three written exams which were all summatives and we also had our OSCE as well and during this term we also got back our SSC results as well which are obviously indicative and subject to ratification from the exam boards. But so far, thankfully, I've passed the SSC. I think all I need to do now is pass the knowledge domain and the clinical skills domain, which we find out on the actual results day, which is the 11th of July. And to be fair, we also find out about the SSC. But yeah, I found this year quite enjoyable and hopefully, and I believe next year is quite similar to this year in terms of pretty much everything, to be honest. I don't know if I'm being naive, but hopefully that's the case. Next year, of course, I definitely want to improve my revision tactics and sort of do more in lectures as well and I'm also hoping to do like more personal stuff like cooking regular meals rather than getting takeouts and also doing more at the gym and looking after myself as well. It's been a while since I've made regular videos and hopefully next year I can get into a routine with that as well. On results day I'll make another video on how I've done. Hope it's been helpful to see my first year at medical school and hopefully if I pass that I'll show you my second year as well.